Okay, so this is a quick run through of Camera Cedar and the color palette mode. Now the color palette mode is available in the draw mode. It's very, very flexible. So basically, it's used for reducing the image to a specified number of colors, which we'll have a look at, so that we can get Camera Lucida to automatically extract the correct number of colors that you select. So say you select eight colors, it will select eight colors from the image and create a palette for you. It's user defined, so you choose the number of colors that you want to actually select and that can be between 2 and 64. If you go above say 8 or 16 colors there will be a performance hit on your iPad or phone so be aware of that. Very very rare you'd want to go above 16 colors. So with these colors the color palette that it creates you select and use those colors to paint uh, your picture with. Now the, the main features of this are that the app will automatically create this color palette for you. Uh, you can also change those colors so if you want to use different colors to the ones that it's extracted from from your photograph you can change them or change the shade of them or change the hue or whatever part of that color you want to change and that will automatically map itself to the image that you've just changed you can also upload your own color palette which we'll have a look at so you can create uh, on a piece of paper or your drawing paper a set of eight colors that you painted out and you can photograph those and then upload those into camera to see that and it will use those colors and map those to the picture so there's when we get into the the app and we have a look at it you can see there are two methods of color matching there's match or there's replace the match method uses the nearest color to the selected color so when you select a color it basically finds the nearest color to the color that you've selected and the replace one will just replace whatever color you've selected so say on your picture you've got a yellow and you select another color say orange it will just replace that yellow with the orange that you've selected so there are various icons in camera loose that you need to be aware of when you go into it and we'll demonstrate that the first is the, the finger so when you're selecting the colors and how they map to the image you may want to see the original image uh, so there's this fingerprint icon on the screen and if you touch that you can uh, while you're pressing it you can see uh, a picture of your original picture so you tap on the screen to select the original picture if you tap and hold the original picture display if you tap on the screen you can select the actual color if you hold and tap on the original image a color shape shape is select then the uh, color is set from the image and we'll have a look at that it sounds confusing but it's easy when you see it the import and export buttons allow you to export to mail print or export the color palette and that's what we were talking about before being able to export color palette so you can print it out on a piece of paper and mix up your colors the import and this is where we would import our own color swatch of painted colors and that's where we import our colors to you also see at the bottom of the picture the color palette that it's actually selected and created for you automatically. It's displayed at the bottom of the screen and you can basically, depending on the width of your screen, scroll left to right to see all the colors. You would first select the number of colors that you want to display uh, or you want camera lucida to extract from your image and um, then you can you can change the colors if you tap on the colored shape for example tap on this green you will see you can display a color picker and now you can change that green to whatever green or whatever other color you want and then what you'll see is instead of it being just this green swatch you'll see that the swatch color is split into two so the top half of the shape is the original color camera lucida created and the bottom of the shape is the color that you've just selected with the color selector and that's where the power comes in so you can see the original color and the color that you've selected so when we get on to using this system we are going to look at pinching and zooming in and out so that you can find it easier to select color that you want to work on you can use the slider here to select how many colors you want to use you can tap on any of the colors that it's selected or extracted from the image in this case we can just see the first of First three colors when you tap on that it'll pop up a, a window allowing you to change that color or change the hue of it and select a new color and then if you want to you can select the match or replace mode and as i said before the replace is replacing the original color that it created with your selected color or the match mode is it finds the nearest color to the one that you've selected you can uh, remove colors so say you've selected eight colors but you just don't want the green color if you tap and hold on a color it will remove it from the color palette so it's not gone forever all it does is it just doesn't use that color anymore the image is then re 
reprocessed with that color removed. And then um, at some point, if you want to reintroduce that color, you can tap again on that image of the color and it will re-enable it. Finally, click apply in the interface to use that color palette and to start drawing. So when we come to the sharing and importing, the important thing here is you can import and export color palettes. So exporting color palettes, all that does is it exports a color wheel of all the colors that have been selected for your painting so that you can then match those to whatever paints you're going to be using. What I often do is print those out uh, onto the paper that I'm going to be using and then match those colors with my paint box uh, and match the colors. Importing, like we said before, you can select an image that contains the color palette that you want to use, which we'll have a look at. Um, and so you've got to create that color swatch first. So say you select eight colors, you've got to create on a piece of paper, art paper, a swatch with eight colors on it that you've mixed that you want to use in your image. Camera to Cedar will then map those colors that you've just scanned in to the image and it's going to look for the same number of colors. So it's got to match the same number of colors that you've got selected in your image. And then Camera to Cedar will scan the image for the colors and the image will be mapped to those colors. So you can then use your own colors to match the image that you've just uh, you, you, that you're just painting. When it comes to share and printing, you can export color wheel, and this might be the colors that that are you're going to be using within the image, and you can export those and you can sort them. So you can sort them by hue or value. You can share that that color wheel. You can save it to a device so that once you've saved it, you can then load the image of all your colors uh, at another time to use the same color palette in case you want you know you've changed any of the colors and. You you can also, what I do, print to the printer and then you can mix your colours as per the palette colour wheel ready for doing the painting. So the draw mode with the colour palette active, when you go into draw mode and you've activated the colour palette, you'll see at the bottom, you'll see the colour palette that you're drawing or using for your paints listed across the bottom and it has this little icon to the left of four colours in it. Now when you select that, you can individually select which colours you want to draw. So let's, for example, say you're focusing on this yellow, orange or yellow, you can press that and then that will switch on that color on the photo so that you can just concentrate on painting the yellow bits. When you finish that, you, you, you touch it again and then you select perhaps the green and then it will only show on the image those areas that are in that green and the same for the other colors. So press and select the color in the image to turn on that color. Press and hold any color and you'll see a large square of that color just to give you a guide. Then on the other side, you've got this color palette. So the color palette, quite importantly, allows you to go back into to the palette editor and change the colors or tweak them. So if you find that these colors aren't quite what you wanted, you can select the color palette and go back and edit them again. So here's some here's some notes that are important. First thing is you define the number of colors that you want to paint. So you've got a photograph and you want to paint that in two colors, four colors, eight colors, 16 colors. You select it first. If you open the color palette, if you're recording your progress with the video camera built into cam camera to see that, it will stop the recording and save it. Resolution of the image image is reduced only while you're setting up. So while you're in the color palette mode, the resolution is reduced. So it doesn't look as clear as it will do when you're actually drawing it. The color palette mode might look different on different devices. For example, the iPad versus the iPad mini versus the iPhone, etc. One tip is to use the Gaussian blur uh, toolbox function to reduce noise in the picture and improve the image or painting. Um, that's something you just got to experiment with. And as I said before, to do with performance, try to stick to a maximum of 16 colors. You really wouldn't want to have a palette of paints of more than 16 colors in front of you anyway, but I tend to stick to eight at the most, because um, if you go above 16, then the processing will be slow. The other important thing to remember is saving and restoring the camera to see the drawing session. Now we've covered that in a previous video. I think it was either part one or part two when we were talking about the color palette. And that's important because as you progress through doing these things, you'll want to save and restore. Thanks for watching my video series in three parts on using Camera Lucida and the color palette. This is a very flexible system that allows you to match your colors of your image to a color palette of maybe four, eight, 16 or more colors. You can export and print those colors so that you can mix them ready for painting. You can even upload your own palette uh, of various colors and use those on the image and map them to the colors you want in the image. Plus, obviously, as usual with Camera Lucida, uh, there's an awful lot more. Anyway, till the next time and the next tutorial on Camera Lucida plus others, Please keep tuned.